Ugh, out my throat. Excuse me. Ugh. Oh, what do you know? Our goal's up. What do you get? Speed and resistance. Irk. Irk, do, do you remember all those parts where I joked about you never getting any magic? You never get any magic. Not, not literally, because, you know, obviously you have gotten magic in the past. Kind of would suck if he never got magic. That would be like will leveling up or something. I mean, really, never getting any stats. Uh, I really need to stop making fun of Will. He basically just makes fun of himself, really. Like, let's be honest here. He is basically a self-parody by now. Even Sane has moved past that point. I say that as he doesn't get to kill the enemy, but you know what? That guy in heavy armor with the extremely heavy shield and extremely heavy armor was probably pretty fast, right? Right, despite all the weight, he was really fast. I mean, he can do flips, man. Flips. He throws his shield into the air, which kind of makes it a useless shield since he never uses it. But then, you know, he comes crashing down with his sword, and then he flips back, and then he grabs his shield. You know, you must be pretty fast to be that badass. That is infallible logic. Why is that water purple? That is some weird looking water. It looked blue on this map screen, but here it's just polluted and also leads into ground. That's just kind of weird. Um, guys, I'm nowhere near you. I mean, I, I guess if you really want to spawn over there and, you know, come after me, that that's fine, but... Personally, I'd prefer if Hector were over here. I want him having some of this action. Because you know what? Those guys have lances, and if they have lances, then, you know, it's Hector's job to sort them out. <sighs> Good job there, Will. Oh, and what do you know? If I just placed him one spot below or to the left, I could have, you know, actually played a song for him, and he might have actually killed someone. But alas, it wasn't to be. Eh. <sighs> I probably should have checked Nils' range first. That would have been smart or something. Eh, well, it's not like it matters that much. It's not like I'm in mortal danger or anything, but still, it would be nice to, you know, have Will get something. So he, maybe one day he could be good. Yeah, dude, you can't even hurt my healer. That's just kind of sad. Man, long distance magic is kind of useless for anyone who doesn't have a boss or who doesn't have a boss who for anyone who isn't a boss. Although strangely enough, uh when Stella doesn't have long range magic. I thought she did initially, but she definitely doesn't. All she has is Fimbulbiter. Fimbulbiter. However you pronounce that. to speak in ellipses. What is it? <laughs> why would I need it? That's a legitimate question. Tell me why you're giving this to me. I don't accept gifts. I want to know what its use is. I'm Ellie Wood, and I am kind of a dick sometimes giving me this weird thing. Talisman, what does that do? That increases resistance. Okay, Elliewood, what do you mean, what, what can I do with this? What kind of question is that? It boosts resistance. That's pretty kick-ass, if you ask me. I mean, I suppose he didn't ask me, but still, you know, it, oh, hey, Matthew's getting the one-hit kill, but still, anyone could use resistance. Anyone. But now you're just all, uh, I want to know how to use your gift, or I'm going to return it to the store. Even though you can't really buy Talisman, I think. I 
again, they may be in the secret shop or something. I don't know. I don't go to the secret shop, man. I, I don't endorse those products. Alright, we gotta kick ass over here. Alright, well, who wants to die? Anybody? Anybody wanna die? Anybody wanna die first? Eh. Oh, sweet! I actually critical them. Now what useless level will this be? Oh, HP and speed, yes, that's so useful. Now you'll be able to dodge more. Which you never do anyway. Hey. Let's see if we can attack this guy. Can we kill this guy? No, we can't. <sighs> Apparently I still have a bolt. That's good. Except I'm pretty sure I'm going to kill him by the time the next turn rolls around. Sets Litany. What does that do? Increases evasion. That's somewhat useful, I guess. Again, it's one of those... the rings that, well... Ninian could use, but now Nils can use, I believe. But of course, I don't really use them that often, so you're probably not going to see it in action. I don't know. I, I did use one of those rings at one point in my first playthrough against one of the last bosses, but, um... You know, this time around I'm probably not going to need it as much. I might, you never know, but eh. I prefer using Nils to just get characters a second turn, because that's far more useful. Alright. Hector, I kind of wanted to get you up there faster, because they're kind of guys with lances, and I kind of want to figure... or figure them out? Yes, I want to figure them out. That makes sense. Alright, so, let's go visit this temple and see who's in here. Now, this might be a familiar face if you remember a chapter from way, way long ago. Huh. He's pretty savvy. Yep, this is Reynolds. He, he has quite the past, actually, and also he has the misfortune of coming in on the second to last chapter, which kind of sucks because, well, <laughs> he is almost completely useless, especially because he has some really, really low magic. Actually, he does kind of have an interesting character and backstory, I must admit. Basically, he was a mercenary for a while, which actually kind of explains why he has such a low magic stat, because he's not actually, you know, normally a natural magic user. But yeah, he was once a mercenary until his friend was killed, and at that point he kind of went insane and started murdering everyone. Actually, wait, wait, before that, I think it's actually good to mention that he did actually, uh... He was actually a knight with Wallace, which is kind of interesting, I guess? I think Wallace said he was like 10 when he was fighting with Renault. But yeah, that that's a whole different thing. But yeah, essentially, Renault, uh, after he went crazy, he killed a bunch of people, including Lucius's father, which was why Lucius was an orphan, partially. Also because his mother died, but Renault wasn't, you know, he wasn't involved with that as far as I know. I don't know, maybe he was able to figure out how to cause disease or something, but that that seems kind of dumb and far-fetched and stuff. But yeah, after that, he joined up with Nurgle, and basically, he helped Nurgle to create morphs or some things, because Nurgle promised that he'd bring the or, uh, Reynolds' friend back, and apparently his friend might actually be Kashuna, but, you know, I don't think there's anything definite on that. It might be Kashuna, it could be someone different, but... Then he realized that it wasn't actually his friend and just an empty vessel and all that, yada yada yada, so he realized, Hey, I've kind of been a dick for years, so maybe I should atone for my past life and stuff. So he's just been hanging out here on the Dread Isle or something, doing nothing, I guess? I, I don't know how that'll help atone, but whatever. He's got his own ideas. 
Actually, speaking of Kashuna, a bit of an interesting thing about him... I believe I mentioned that there's a uh, another chapter for Hector, right? That it's a... Uh, it's a Gaiden chapter. Remember wh who else appeared in Gaiden chapters a while ago? That's right, there's actually a, a uh, third Kashuna chapter, but Elliewood cannot play it for some reason. Which also means you technically can't uh, get the full ending. Well, not really full ending, but... There are certain bits of dialogue that will change if you defeat Kashuna three times. Oh, wait, is it defeat or just win the missions? I'm not quite sure. I think it'll depend whether or not the dialogue actually does change for me, because I'm pretty sure if you uh, at least beat two chapters, then his dialogue will change, but if I'm wrong, then it'll stay the same as it is before that, that bit of dialogue. I'll see you later. I'll know it when I see it, so yeah. But if it remains the same, that unfortunately means you have to kill Kashuna, which, uh, if you remember, isn't exactly an easy task. But yeah, that's pretty much all on Kashuna and Renault. Um, I think I mentioned it before, you only have these last few chapters to get an A, uh, what do you call it, uh, support with him. Which, again, is kind of annoying, because he comes at last second, and he's got a bunch of different support conversations. I believe he supports with... Uh, hold on a sec, I know he supports with Bartz. I think he su Yeah, he supports with Canis, definitely Lucius, definitely Wallace, and I think Isadora. But yeah... Basically, in order to see his backstory, you just have to go through those support conversations, and you'll sort of get an idea of what, what happened in his past. So. And I say sort of because it's still not definite. He, he is all enigmatic and stuff. Oh man, so enigmatic and mysterious. I do kind of like him, though. He, he is a pretty cool dude, but yeah. Kind of a crappy character at this point in the game, and I don't want to bother doing all those supports with him because I'm pretty sure most everyone else is taken or not in my team. Actually, I just don't have plain... Blech. I just plain don't have Wallace. Yeah, excuse me. So yeah, there goes that idea. Also, what is this ballista? Ooh, killer ballista. I didn't even know these existed. I mean, I guess I had to know these existed and wow, g good job there, Will. Just... Don't, don't get any criticals in your critical hit producing machine. No, that would be useful to me. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. But yeah, too much time and effort for, you know, not that many results, really. There are characters I'd much rather have than him. So, too bad. Alright, uh... Oh, right, I still have to move you guys. Almost forgot to do that. Uh. Hmm. Well, Sane is the only one who can reach that. Pretty sure I'm blocking this guy's way, so we'll have to attack Sane. And there. Now you have to die. Or you could run away. That's also an option. You know, you could try luring me to uh, Limstella, so I get magic by her. You know that that's a viable option, maybe. Now you definitely can't get across here. kind of feel sorry for these guys. Even Bart's kicking their ass and not getting hit. He's supposed to be the guy who does get hit. You know, he, he's supposed to be a tank. He's not supposed to dodge damage, he's just supposed to be able to take it. But nope, he's just kicking all of the ass, all of it forever. Man, 
You gotta love how Hector is just... His critical hit animation barely has any difference. Of course, he will be getting a new weapon soon that'll change that. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Awesome animations. Hector has awesome animations. Just thought I'd bring that up. Also, I, I, I guess Ellie Wood is kind of decent for animations. Lynn definitely looks badass. Did you see that? That is badass. I don't think she has any new sprites for the Monikati, though, which is kind of weird because she's had that weapon for ages and it's supposed to be the ultimate weapon. Except, you know, now we have Durandal. I mean, not at the moment, but we found Durandal. And, you know, there, there's probably another ultimate weapon. You know, ultimate weapon for each character. Hmm? Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Gonna be getting those soon. In the last chapter. 